people in Riverside are rallying around a man who helped convict a cop killer. Yeah, his name is Steve McQueen, and tonight, KCAL 9's Andrea Fiji shows you what the community is now doing for him in return. After years of being homeless, this Riverside motel room has been Steve McQueen's home for the past several weeks, all paid for by the community. It just restores my my confidence that there's still good people out there. Help has been pouring in for McQueen, who many consider a hero. He was the sole witness to the 2010 murder of Riverside police officer and Iraq War veteran Ryan Bonominio. Bonominio was shot and killed while chasing the suspect of a hit and run, Earl Ellis Green. McQueen's testimony at trial helped lead to the conviction of Green. I didn't even consider not helping, tell you the truth. I just. I wanted to get him help that night. Chuck Griffiths was the Riverside PD lieutenant on duty the night Bonominio was killed. He says McQueen's help in the case was essential. To get the slam dunk case that we did, uh, Steve was a big, big, uh, or played a big role in that. So when Griffiths, now retired, saw that McQueen was homeless at a recent memorial for Bonominio, he wanted to help. He did the right thing, and I think we need to do the right thing. Griffith started a GoFundMe account that's already raised more than $7,000 on top of this motel room that's been paid for through the end of the month. Steve says he's been homeless off and on since 2008. For many of those years, he says he's lived in this car. McQueen says he soon plans to move into public assisted housing and, as an artist, hopes to start selling some of his work. Progress, he says, because of the help from strangers. God bless you and thank you. In Riverside, Andrea Fujii, KCAL 9 News. Oh, I'm so glad to see they stepped up yeah. to help him. Yeah. Oh, best of luck to you.